Libra, we're going to be doing the video for May 2024. Holy bejeebus, this year is flying by. I'm going to be doing your tarot, your astrology, your moon cards, and your I Ching. And I'm going to announce two new products today. So you definitely want to check that out. I was just outside of the puppy dog. So I should have a little snack. And Libra, I am, uh, my puppy is right next to me panting. So if you hear any weird noises like me picking crackers out of my teeth or her panting, that's what that is. But... Oh my God, what is going on for May for you? Let's check this out. Do not forget to hit like, share, subscribe, comments, and utterances of discontent will be met with love and with humor. And we got a huge thunderstorm popping off here. So it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. We'll see what, we'll see what makes it on camera. Libra, Libra, Libra. Or no, Libra. Yes, Leo. Did I say Leo earlier? I meant Libra. Just ignore me. I got cracker on the brain. Okay, let's see. La, 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 Libra. Ooh, some love. Love and money stuff. Mm -mm -mm. Love and money stuff going on. Not good, not bad, just stuff. So just be aware of it. Just be mindful of it. Um, looks like there was a love situation earlier on in the year. I would say like maybe March time period. April, you're kind of feeling yourself. April, you're like, I'm going to make changes. I'm going to do stuff for me. I'm going to be a uh, little miss or Mr. Libra. I'm going to get my shit together. Now, probably is not going to happen in May only because I do see there is going to be an expense or there's going to be something going out. Now, I do want to warn you, there could be a third party or there could be somebody coming into your love life. There could be a troublemaker. Let's put it that way. Um, so you definitely want to keep your path free of any third parties. Third parties could be somebody in your relationship, or they could even be a, like a business partner. They could be like, you know, somebody trying to like tell you what to do or somebody trying to give you advice. So there is, it's literally saying, keep, keep third parties, you know, an arm's length away, keep them over there. Um, this money going out is not a bad thing. It's not necessarily bad. Just so you know, it's not terrible, but it is something that you have to be aware of. A lot of people are having that. And some of that's just the time of the year. Some of that is other, you know, some, so even when we do the Zodiac, there are certain planets that affect absolutely everybody. Like Jupiter affects absolutely everybody. You know what I mean? So like when there's a weird Jupiter placement, everybody's getting, either getting it good or getting it bad. Um, so this, I've had a couple readings so far that I've done the word money's going out. Doesn't have to be bad. It does look like in June though, you do have travel. Either you move, you sell a property, you buy a property, or you go on a very, very, very big trip. I'm not talking like you're going to visit your aunt Ida over the river. It's something like that. It's a big trip. It's like some, you lay in some money. So think about that Libra. And then also this partnership comes up again in July. So you really want to be careful with this breakup, makeup, third party BS that is going on right now in the month of May, handle your business, stay classy about it, but keep your eye out. So let's, let's just say, I'm not saying this is what happened, but let's say you catch your person doing something they're not supposed to. And they're like, Oh no, no, it's over. I'm like, eh, keep, mm. I see a resurface. So just stay on top of that situation is what I would recommend to you. So I'm going to tell you about the Astro Dice. We're going to go into your astrology. And if you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe because you get this free every single month. You get 10 minutes of health, wealth, love, and happiness for free every single month. And if you go right down below, there is my direct phone number, 484-634-0435. Text me, don't call me, but if you text me, I'll get right back to you. The other thing is there are links down to the store below. I'm going to go over some products. This is one of them. This is in my store on Etsy. I have 3,700 five-star views. This rolled, I don't know if it was on camera or not, but I went to a three, third house. Um, these are available in my store. 3,700 five-star views. I have hundreds of products. Check that store out. Um, there's links down below. Just get down there and start clicking. Or if you want me to help you shop, you want to get um, spell work, you want to get a, a reading, you want to get anything like that, go ahead and I will, you know, get right back to you and I'll help you shop. And I, I can put something specific together, you know, Pacific, put some Pacific for you. So we're in third house and third house is all about trips, ironically, trips, communications, and it does have to do with a sibling relationship. So again, this might not have to be a third party in uh, your love relationship. This could be like a business relationship. Could be like somebody coming in in the family, like an in-law and you're like, I don't like that bitch, you know, something like that. So third house, we do have Taurus, which is going to hold you steady. And we also are dealing with some Neptune energy. So, okay, let's get into that. Let's see what this is. When you get these online, I do have these available as a kit. You get a psychic vision oil and you get a cheat sheet and you get this beautiful carrying bag. So do know it comes together as a whole entire set. So even if you don't know how to read them, watch me, number one. Um, don't do what I do. You know, I'm sure you can do better. But, um, and then you get the cheat sheet and then you can go from there. 
So this being in the third house, like I said, is again, all about trips, siblings, um, has, can can have to do with your children and can have to do with your children also. So if you have children around you, um, it's just something to watch out. It's, it's almost like an open road. There's like an open door. There's something that's going to happen or you're going to get some form of communication. Now, Taurus is all about stability, but there is, it's a fixed earth sign, but there is, you know, Taurus is ruled by Venus and Libra, you are also ruled by Venus. So this is something you really, you know, yeah, um, I don't know why I thought you were ruled by Pluto for a second. You're not. Um, so this is something you need to watch out for. This is coming in something you do have to dig your heels in about. So if this person's coming in and they're giving you a bunch of shit and they're telling you what to do, feel free to dig your heels in. I'll give you permission. I'll sign your hall pass on that one. Don't let somebody else run your show. That's going to be a big thing. And with this definite Neptune energy, do not be under idealism about this third person. Like, oh, they're not a threat or, oh, they never hurt me. And bullshit. I don't like, I'm, th this is, this is literally telling you to keep your house closed to strangers. Okay. That can be your financial house. That can be your um, emotional house and that can be your relationship. So you definitely want to keep an eye on that. I'm going to move over to the I Ching if you don't know about this. Oh, and also all the dogs are in here right now. So I'm just waiting for one of them to start barking and be ridiculous. The I Ching is one of the oldest forms of divination. It is Chinese. It's about 3000 years old. I am using the cards just because they are visual, you know, because we're on camera, but I do have text message I Ching readings available. It's not going to be a yes or a no. You're going to get a couple paragraphs, but it's going to give you a present and a future. These, the I Ching is wicked accurate. It is crazy accurate. I've been working with it. I've been trying to perfect it now for about a year before I brought it to you wonderful people. But you definitely, this is, if you have a, you need to know something's going on in the future, this is the one you want. So let's see Libra what we're going to do, what's going on for May and then June. So let's, oh, I'm going to flip these over. Ah, we'll flip these over. And then I'm going to use the book because um, as always, I don't have my bifocals on. So I'm going to read from the little book that's over here. So if you hear me like I'm not, I'm not that eloquent. I will be reading off of a script. So let's see what's going on for May for you, Libra. Travel, yeah, we're, okay, so there's some trip coming. It's either gonna happen in May or it's gonna happen in June. I, the card said June, but you could, you know, plan for it. Ooh, arguing, oh, see? That's why I like to do the multiple forms of divination because they confluence, you know, they, they, they stack on top of each other and you're just getting more and more and more like, hey, this is what's actually gonna happen. Okay, so let's look at 56 for traveling. So that is what is going on. Again, these are written in like a poem. So uh, the hexagrams, these are called the hexagrams. You basically, when I do your reading, if you get the the um, text message reading, again, click on that link down below. Click any of the links that take you to my store and you can click around and find it or get a hold of me. My phone number is 484-634-0435. Text me and I will text you the link directly to it. I love doing these readings. So I actually throw the different coins, but... Um, this is, like I said, just a more visual, easier way to do it uh, for the for the camera. So he the hexagram 56 is about traveling. It's written in a poem form. So above the mountain is fine, traveling. A noble one is clear and thoughtful in administering punishments and does not draw out legal proceedings. A fire above the mountain is like a campfire. Before the flames die down, disputes must be resolved so travelers can move on. I'm telling you, there's this third party that you need to be like, get off my property trash. You know, you need to get them out of there. Um, the noble one, which is you completes things with a firmness and a clarity. You have neither the resources nor the time to get embroiled in a long drawn out wrangling with yourself or others. I'm telling you this third party is going to be like all up in your shit and you got to be like, get off my property arguing for the next month. Okay. Heaven joins with stream contradictory movements, arguing the noble one starting work plans beginnings. Arguing makes for much better beginnings than endings in order to direct the inner momentum intelligently without worsening the conflict, plan how to bring the emotional currents of commitment back into accord with the absolute principles. Hmm. I think, how do I say that? It's easier to fix something now than to fix a big problem later. I'm telling you in May, watch out for the, whoever's trying to get into your shit because that's either your business or your relationship. Somebody's trying to horn in. Be very careful, Libra. I'm going to take a little break. I'm going to, we're still, we still got more, we still got more divination to go, but I just want to tell you real, real quick. This is the brand new. I actually just sent this out. So 
Um, a couple people can comment on this down below. This is the good luck money drawing formula. So it's the regular money drawing formula amped up a little bit and I have it in a shamrock. This is so cute, smells so good. It's very clove, it's very herbal. It kind of smells like money. If you like the regular money drawing formula, you will love this. Again, go down to my store down below. 3,700 five-star reviews, do not lie. The other thing I'm introducing, these are not the bottles it will be in. I get the base pheromones in these bottles, okay? So you're not gonna get a blue bottle, don't expect that. I have custom, custom pheromone perfumes for you. Now I'm going to tell you something. And when you order this, first of all, pheromones do work. I use them all the time. I use them on everybody. I have a million different for every different situation. I have tested them out on myself for over 10 years. I can, I can hook you up. Whether you want somebody to find you more sexy, you want your coworkers to be nice to you. You want somebody, you, I, I remember I used them. I had an insurance claim one time and I wanted the insurance adjuster to be really nice to me. Boom, did pheromones. For that situation, you don't want a sexual pheromone, you want like a respect pheromone. You want some things to go in your favor. I got you hooked up with pheromones, let me tell you. So these are these are the, um, because I get the molecule, I get the actual molecule. There are 14 different pheromones that I work with and I combine them in certain ratios. Now, when you order, you're gonna get them in a clear, it's gonna be a, a, a vial a little bit bigger than this. It's gonna be clear, just so you know. Pheromones are not odorless. They do have a musky kind of scent to them. It smells almost like when you've been at the gym too long and you kind of have that funk. It's not actually BO. It's it's like just, it's like, you know, uh, you know, moist, moist skin touching. You know, it's that kind of like, you know, um, it's not a bad smell, but I don't think anybody wants to walk around smelling like a foot all day long. So, but that is the natural pheromone smell. Now you can order them unscented, which is totally fine. Just write it in the memo. Totally fine. Just write unscented because a lot of pheromones I work with are unscented. They have that musky smell. I put them on, you let it dry down, which takes like 60 seconds. And then you can put whatever perfume on top of it you want. I don't care if you got Charlie from the Walgreens or if you got some Victoria's Secret, uh, you know, Amber Love, or if you got some bougie, 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 fancy, you know, Bulgari, okay? You put whatever you want on top of it and that will cover it. Or I do offer cover scents. So when you order it, either write unscented, which I'll just ship it to you, but no, it's gonna have that smell. Or I, for absolutely no extra cost, I can add a little bit of scent. I'm just gonna add a little bit. It's not gonna be overpowering. It's not gonna be a perfume. It's just gonna cover that odor. Um, so let me know, these work, these are really good. I have a number of different ones. I used to have just one kind of catch-all before. I am expanding and we're gonna be doing a number of pheromones for you lovely people. Now let's get back to the reading, Libra. Let's do your moon cards. I'm actually gonna, I've been doing one on everybody else, but Libra is like, you know, Libra's beautiful. Libra's all like, hmm. So let's do some extra for Libra. Let's see what's going on with you, Libra, for the moon. Things you need to know for the month of May. Mm-hmm. Emotions are running high. They sure as shit are. Emotions are running high. Nothing is set in stone. Take time to breathe. This month, I'm telling you, you can change some big things this month. You can change things absolutely 100% in your favor. That that person, make sure nobody is in your... Now, this could be a boss. This doesn't have to be... Don't freak out when I say third person and think, oh my God, there's like... There is a person that is going to get in my relationship. It could be your boss is trying to, you know, tell you way too much what to do at work. And and I understand being a boss. I'm a boss. I get it. You, you know, but it's like, sometimes you might have to be like, you know what? No, I'm doing this project. I'm running this project. Get the fuck out of it. It could be something as small as that. So don't freak out when I say third party that there's necessarily cheating going on. But emotions are running high. Nothing is set in stone. You have the chance. That's why you want these readings. So ahead of time, you can look and see what's going on so you can stop it and take time to breathe. Labor, don't forget to take time to breathe. Thank you so much for hanging in there with me. Check out the store. Check out the pheromones. Check out the um, lucky. This is good for gambling too. This is like all about getting money from a lucky source. Okay. Don't forget to subscribe and check out all the different social medias because I got pop-up sales coming all over the place. You want to check those out.